The World Cup is the biggest sporting event in the world. And Rocket League is, well, one of the games that exists in the world. Therefore, I thought it was only fitting that we host a World Cup in Rocket League. Welcome to the unofficial Rocket League World Cup. Unlike the World Cup, instead of a group stage, this competition will be used in a round of 32. Each opening game mirrors the 2022 World Cup Match Day 1 fixtures. After that, there will be a round of 16 where each country will play the winning country from their group. So although there is no group stage, we will still have the teams play against their Qatar World Cup group opponents before they progress into the finals. To separate this from any normal tournament and to make it more fun, I've put each country into one of four groups. Each group is based off of the FIFA World Rankings, then out of the 32 players from my Discord server, I organised them into one of the groups based on their Rocket League rank. So we may see some games with big rank gaps, but some of the results will surprise you. Just like in real football, the higher ranked team doesn't always win. And it is time for the opening game of the Rocket League World Cup. We have Qatar hosting Ecuador just like in real life, and we have a goal already, a kickoff goal there by Ecuador. They've attacked the ball, it's bounced off the wall and Qatar couldn't get back in time to stop it and it is 1-0 already. The ball is in Ecuador's half for the first time during this game but Qatar is heading back so they've got space to go forward here. They'll probably go for a shot and they do and arguably Qatar should have got that but just how like the match ended in real life it is 2-0 to Ecuador. They do hit it against the wall and Ecuador are able to regain possession. Qatar losing it quite easily there. They're going to go back as they keep doing and Ecuador gets another shot away that which again Qatar probably could have got to but they haven't and Ecuador are now leading 3-0 so we're not going to get that real life 2-0 ending but all hope is not lost for Qatar here as they do pull one back and there is still a chance they could get something for this game they have not been playing well but we've still got plenty of time left Ecuador have another opportunity here to regain their free goal lead and they take it. It is 4-1 now to Ecuador. Qatar are going to have to work very hard to get back into this game. Ecuador just scrape it off of their backboard here. But here comes Qatar and they will not accept defeat. There is still quite a bit of time left and could we be seeing a comeback here? Qatar with the shot. It goes off though. But they're going to have another one. It goes over Ecuador and it's just going to roll into the goal. And the comeback is most definitely on. They're only down by one goal. Can they get something from this game? But Ecuador will go on a run here. And where are Qatar? They are nowhere to be seen. Ecuador through on goal with nobody back. Qatar, I don't even know where they were. I think they were sitting in the goal there. It is 5-3. There are seconds left on the clock. This is how it will end. Ecuador will go through to the round of 16. Right, we've got a big game for you people. We have England versus Iran and this is a legendary conflict between fellow YouTuber, the Xbox champion and little man fawn in my foot. I'm not that little. Now these guys, they have been fighting for centuries. How, how are you both feeling right now? I am ecstatic. I'm going to win. Yep, um, you're right. You're not very confident, Fawn. <laughs> no, I'm not. Biggest match in history. Oh, Fawn, why are you using a Fennec? Fawn, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Fawn, I gave you specific instructions to use either an octane so that I could put the decal on you or make your car the colours of Iran. You are wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> With a tiara. Ah. Oh. Not purposeful. Big match for best, though. I hate you. <laughs> There's a guy in the tournament who's like literally like only a game away from SSL. I know I am. Oh, what a goal. What a pass. That was perfect. Because <laughs> now it's the actual Ira England around the score. Oh, yeah. That's good point. I got to watch that in school. Didn't know. Yeah. Oh, that better go in. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm no, he's to... cheating. He's cheating. He, oh, wait. Oh, he actually fell on left. I thought he was doing team swap. Well, good job. Um, Fawn, do you want to do a post-match? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. What about you, Mr. Mr. Xbox? Uh, I think the gameplay speaks for itself. I think it does. But oh, good that's, job. That's, that's right, Fawn, Fawn will question you, Xbox champion. Um, uh, get disconnected. Well, Fawn in my foot, that was a very interesting game on your behalf. What went wrong? I let him win. You let him win? Yeah. Um... Match fixing? So, Sorry, did you just admit to match fixing? Obviously, I let him win, as you can tell by the gameplay. But um, first of all, the commentators, they got into my head. Sorry. They were saying, why aren't I, am I using an Octane or the Iran decal? I was just trying to get by, playing my game. Definitely not a fixed result. And 
you're waffling away in my ear saying, why isn't he using this? So he's obviously making the nerves that I already have increase. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. But also, I got illegally dragged into this tournament. Are you running out of breath so, there? Yeah, because this is <laughs> this is big. I have got the evidence right here. So he says to me, at phone my foot, at phone my foot, check server. I'm making Rocket League World Cup. I put you in group three, pick a team. I am now taking you to court. This is no longer about the match. This Whoa. is more about the legal case. Whoa. So I have a poem, shut up. I have a poem. There was once a thorn in my foot, but now there is no more. Just an empty hole. Just an empty hole. Goodbye, thorn in my foot. Goodbye, much. Well, that was a very interesting game. Let's see if this one will be a little bit less one-sided. We have Mexico versus Poland. Mexico take the ball off of the wall. Poland are under them and they're keeping the ball away from Poland and it will go in and it is 1-0 to Mexico. Poland are going to take the ball away from their net. Mexico are going to go for it there, but they do miss. And oh no, what have they done? They've jumped out of the way of that ball and they've hit it into their own net. That could come back to hurt them. And that own goal has reignited Poland. And it looks like they'll get another one here. And they do take the lead. Poland shot blocked by Mexico. And it looks like this could dip and go in. And it will. Intentional or not, Mexico are back in the game. But for how long can Mexico stop Poland from regaining their lead? Not very long. It is 3-2 to Poland. Poland have time on the ball. They're going to slowly dribble it over to Mexico's net. And all they have to do is jump. And the ball goes up, pops over Mexico. And they've got another one. This game is about to end and it will be an upset for Mexico as they are actually ranked higher in the grouping system. And the game will now finish 4-2 to Poland. And for this next game, we have a group one side facing a group four side. So this could be a very high score in a one-sided game. Let's see how it turns out. And this game was a high scoring one with France already getting an air dribble goal a couple seconds in. So let's cut to some highlights. I mean, this result was expected due to the rank gap. I mean, it's 15-0, but there are some big upsets coming. And we're following that one-sided game by one that should be a little bit more even as they are both in the same group. It's USA versus Wales. Wales have their first attack quite early on, and that was a lovely shot over USA. USA couldn't get there, and it is 1-0 to Wales. And Wales have another opportunity here. I don't know where USA are. It is 2-0, and they've already doubled the amount of goals the real Welsh team scored in the whole World Cup. And it's looking like it's going to be free. I thought this would be an even game. But this Welsh player clearly doesn't care. As it's 4-0. USA are going to have to work very hard to get something. You wouldn't guess these guys are the same rank. 5-0. And Wales are getting another one. It's an own goal by the USA. At least they can say they scored. Wales off the backboard leaving an open goal. And USA will get their consolation goal. I believe both these players are high diamond. And it's 7-1. A brutal win by Wales. And now we have Senegal against the Netherlands. Now, I've already filmed this game and it was a pretty high scoring one. So like we did with the France game, I'm just going to cut to some of the best goal highlights. And what are Senegal doing? They're putting it in their own net. I mean, it's not like they had a chance anyway. It's 14-0 to Netherlands and they will go through to the next round. Following that crazy result by the Netherlands, we have Denmark versus Tunisia. Group 2 versus Group 4. And we already have a goal here for Denmark. Already showing off their rank advantage. Denmark will pop the ball off the wall. And oh, that's a bit of, a, bit of an awkward attempt there. And Tunisia completely miss it and they get a goal. But if Tunisia can get this, they'll almost definitely be back in the game. And they do. What Denmark has gone for the big pad on kickoff. And they've just allowed Tunisia to score. And it looks like they may even take the lead here. And that kickoff mistake is really hurting Denmark. Denmark, they go to clear the ball, but they completely miss it. Tunisia bump them and they get the goal. Denmark are making too many mistakes this game. Denmark are coming forward to claim the ball, but they demo Tunisia and hit it into their own net. 
Denmark, what is going on? Denmark is on the attack here and they fake out Tunisia and they claw one back. And Tunisia are nowhere to be seen. Denmark basically gets a free goal there. Both teams are making lots of mistakes. Popped by Denmark and looks like it's going in. They have made a lot of mistakes, but they've worked to get themselves back into this. Last few seconds of this very interesting game. Denmark will attack. They drift and they kind of fake Tunisia and they will go through 6-5. Argentina versus Saudi Arabia. A big upset in real life. Will that be reflected in Rocket League? Argentina going for a ground to air dribble and Saudi Arabia can't control themselves. That was a good goal there to start off the game. And Argentina have got a shot away. It's slowly rolling into their net, but Saudi Arabia are just taking their time over at that boost pad. And I thought that last game had some pretty big mistakes. Argentina trying their luck at replicating that first goal. And it looks like it will go in. It's 3-0. And they haven't scored too many goals this game. There's not much time left. But they knew they weren't going to have to score too many to win. They've played professionally. And we've got a couple seconds on the clock here. And it looks like it's going to end 3-0 to Argentina. As you can see, all games on the left side of the bracket have been completed. We have eight more to go to finish this round of 32. Then I'll post the round of 16 and quarterfinals in my next video and the semi-finals and final in part three so I can show off the full matches for the semis and final. Now, let's get started on those games on the right side of the bracket. But first, a message from this video sponsor. Thanks to R Exchange for sponsoring this video. If you are in need of some delectable Rocket League items, look no further than R Exchange. They provide the best prices, delivery, and safety on your purchases on all platforms. And use code MULCH or the link in description for a discount at checkout. Okay, now it's time for Morocco versus Croatia. There isn't that big of a rank gap. But there's already a scoring gap. Morocco have just gone 1-0 down to Croatia's kickoff goal there. Croatia going up to do a little bit of a dribble. And Morocco just don't know what they're doing. And it's 2-0. Croatia, they pop the ball up. They're going to go what seems like a double tap. Or whatever that is. But it's a goal. So they'll take it. But why have three when you can have four? I mean, four is my favourite number. And if you disagree with that fact, you are wrong. Going to bounce back for a shot. And oh, sheer perfection there by Morocco. And Croatia have an open goal and they've just turned themselves into a frailing turtle. Come on, Morocco, you got this. Okay, maybe not. 6-1. Croatia are one away from a Brazil here, but Morocco say no. They say they are better than Brazil in 2014. Final score, 6-2. And speaking of 2014 Brazil, here we have the team that put seven past them. It's Germany against Japan. Germany are taking the ball towards their own goal and Japan will exploit them and they will get the opening goal of this game. And an awkward save by Japan that gives Germany possession and a goal. Germany are on the attack and are oh, Japan, what have they done there? They backflipped and Germany will take the lead for the first time. Japan have just demoed Germany. They've got them out of the way. They are coming back here though, but they will get a goal away and it's 2-2. Could Japan be making a comeback here? Okay, well, maybe not. It's going to end 7-3 to Germany. So following that failed comeback, we have a rank 1 versus rank 3 team, Costa Rica versus Spain. Spain up in the air, spinning around like Maradona, doing whatever tricks they are. Oh, okay, 1-0. Going to take a long-range shot, but Costa Rica could get there. Oh, okay, unfortunately, they didn't. It's 2-0. To... But what's happening here? Spain aren't back, and Costa Rica will capitalize. Could they do what Japan couldn't? Could Costa Rica make a comeback? Okay, never mind. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Spain will go through. Belgium versus Canada. This ended up being a very one-sided game. So we're going to cut and do some goal highlights. But Canada on a breakaway here. And Belgium, they try and clear it, I think. But they hit it in the back of their own goal. Canada get a goal. I heard someone say that in the World Cup, Canada scoring feels the same to them as it would for some countries getting into the finals. So well done, Canada. You managed to get a goal. But Canada's goal is not going to matter for much, especially with Belgium doing this here. I mean, look, they've got complete control over the game. Ah, oh, that, was, that was dirty. And last attack of the game. Belgium, they will get a goal and it's going to end 9-1. Next game, South Korea against Uruguay. Now, this game should have a slightly closer scoreline, but let's see how it ends up. 
So Uruguay have had a long range or towards Korea's net and they're going to try and clear it but they hit it into their goal. It will be an own goal by Korea and Uruguay will go 1-0 up. Korea have an opportunity to cancel out their mistake and they do 1-1. Korea nudging the ball towards Uruguay's goal and Uruguay just flip out of the way there and Korea do a little flip dance while they're in the net. It is 2-1. Where are Uruguay? It's going to be 3-1 now. The underdogs are up by two goals. And Korea, oh, they make one little mistake and that's completely changed the game. It just shows the volatility of ones. Uruguay are going to take a shot and it looks like we are going to have an even game again. Korea in possession. They could take the lead here. Uruguay make a mistake. It's a good opportunity, but I don't think they have boost. And how have they missed that? They will make up for that mistake though with this. It is 4-3. Last seconds of the game. And Korea could get another one here. Just a reminder, they are the lower ranked team. And they do. It ends 5-3 to Korea. But what's this? VAR has indicated that there was some cheating used by South Korea. They used a team swap. This is not allowed. But as it did not provide them with an advantage, they will get away with a yellow card. So they will still go through. Cameroon versus Switzerland. Let's get straight into it. Let's see what happens with this one. Switzerland is actually using a skyline. This tournament has just been dominated by Octanes. That is my fault though because I have to add the custom decal. Oh, nice goal there by Switzerland. They do a little dance in the sky. Switzerland used the powers of demolition to rid of their opponent. Although it will just put their opponent in a little bit of a better position. But they do a lovely little pop. And oh, that, that was just perfect too now. Switzerland spinning around doing a little roulette turn. And they get it over Cameroon. They get another goal with the splash goal explosions. was one of my favourite. Right, Switzerland. You're 3-0 up. Let's be nice to Cameroon now. What are you going to do? Take some boost. Cameroon comes. Okay, Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland. We get it. We get it. Back to kickoff. 4-0 now to Switzerland. Can Cameroon get back into it? I mean, they do win the kickoff. Switzerland are going boost over ball. And Cameroon will get a goal. It is 4-1. Switzerland on the ball again, and I am genuinely convinced that this Swiss player thinks that they are a fidget spinner. It is 5-1 now. Switzerland still spinning. 6. Switzerland, they're going backwards here. They don't turn, and Cameroon will get one. They also have the splash goal explosion. I need to get myself another splash. Splash goal explosion is just god tier. We have a group 1 opponent in Brazil against Serbia here. This could be an exciting game. Brazil already could get a first goal and they do. They open the game only a few seconds in. But Serbia in their white octane could retaliate quickly and they do. It is 1-1. But not for long as Brazil do regain their expected lead. Serbia with a shot. Serbia with a goal. It is 2-2. Now, third time's the charm. Could Serbia win this game? I feel like I'm cursing these teams when I'm saying they've got a chance of winning. Let's get on to the next game. This one ends 12-2. The last game of the round of 32 after this will show you the bracket. Let's see how this one will end up. We have Portugal versus Ghana. And we've got another really early start here from Portugal. It is 1-0. And it looks like they could get another. And they do. 2-0 to Portugal. Ghana defending here. Portugal approaches them with a shot. Ghana do get the save way, but they're in a really awkward position and Portugal will get another one. And seemingly the hat trick isn't enough for Portugal. Four. But why have four when you can have five? Ghana are going to need more than a miracle now. But they will get their bit of luck. They do get one back. Five, one. But it doesn't matter to Portugal and they'll get another very clean goal. Portugal, they're going what seemed to be some kind of dribble, but I think they're going to change it into a double tap. Don't know if that's what they meant initially, but they get a goal from it. Pops it off the wall. They grab a reset. They go down. They decide they don't even need it. It's 8-1. Portugal are the final team to go through to the round of 16. And here we have our final 16 teams. Started off with 32 and now down to 16. In the next video, we'll get that down to the final four. And then in part three, we'll play the finals and the semi-finals. I want to show the full games for those matches. That's why they'll be in a separate part because of these matches. Also, I had to cut it down to just the goals. And as you can see, if you look at the teams, they're actually playing a country that was also in their World Cup group. So we're technically going to have almost group winners, even though we didn't have a group stage. So at the end of the tournament, we can compare it to how the actual World Cup did. See if we could predict the World Cup through Rocket League. It'll be unlikely, but it'll be fun to see 
how close we get. So when I'm recording this voiceover, the round of 16 has just started. So I do have the group winners. And I can have a look. So we've got group H, right? So Korea and Portugal. We've got group G, right? With Switzerland and Brazil. We also got group C, correct? With Argentina and Poland. But I think we got at least one team out of every group. Uh, but obviously we had some surprise results in here. And some surprise results in the World Cup. But let's see how accurate we can get with our winner. But that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part two.